What's going on guys? Alucard here with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new product and I'm going to be starting off a little slow with more familiar flavors for it. So the new product in question is going to be Sneak. And uh, this is a UK based energy brand. Um, never really had them before. And I ordered their starter pack and got a shaker cup and nine samples. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing each sample individually per review. Uh, the review that I'm going to be doing today is going to be their strawberry, if, if the camera can pick it up, strawberry and watermelon. Come on. Strawberry watermelon. There we go. So yeah, strawberry watermelon flavor of sneak and the starter pack lets you choose between um, multiple different shaker cups as your shaker, shaker cup. Um, three of them you get for free um, in terms of your choice, while the other ones you have to pay extra to get. The one I got, which was free, is their monochrome shaker which looks very, very nice. Now, unfortunately, because this is a product with maltodextrin in it, um, it's gonna have a color to the drink itself. Uh, so I'm going to describe it instead of showing it since I completely blacked out on that thought of it having maltodextrin. I didn't know it had it. So had I known, I would have gotten a clear shaker cup, but this is the best I can do. Um, so yeah, I've already got the shaker cup prepped with ice water. Now I'm going to open up this and give it a try. First things first, as always, I'm going to be doing the smell test with the powder. Um, can I get it open? It's a little, the package look like is like trying to be stuck or something. Oh, wait a minute, there's an opening right there. Let me grab my knife. Okay, got it open finally. That was a little bit inconvenient. Um, I guess I didn't rip it off correct, like I didn't open it proper. Um, but anyways, smell test. I'm not smelling strawberry or watermelon. It smells... It's a very familiar smell, but I'm trying to figure out what it is. Almost like a... Raspberry cream cheese... Um, bread or pastry or something like that. That's the smell that comes to mind. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm smelling, which is a little odd, considering this is not anything related to raspberry. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and dump it into the shaker. So far, a very strange start. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and shake this thing. All right, there we go. It got very cold all of a sudden. Ah, and I pinched myself with the cup. Ow. Anyways, let's give it a smell for the drink. Now, that's pretty accurate. Uh, I am definitely smelling strawberry and watermelon. It's a very different strawberry watermelon that I'm smelling compared to other brands I've tried with the same flavor. It's definitely more fruity. And I'm getting a very floral, fruity type scent out of it. It's very pungent, but not too pungent to where it's overwhelming. Well, so far, so good. The powder smell, eh. 
bit off, but when it's mixed into a drink, it's pretty accurate. Now, I'm gonna take a look at the drink itself and see what color it is. And where is my phone? There it is. Basically a very vibrant pink color. The light will show on camera that it's like a red color, but it's actually very vibrant pink. I can't see it from the top because it's foamed up a lot. So, so far so good. I mean, that's a pretty accurate color, all things considered. Now let's go ahead and close this up again. And let's go ahead and give this a taste. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well. Oh, I, I definitely taste that strawberry. But that watermelon. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Very, very balanced, I'd say. It's equal parts strawberry to equal parts watermelon. Very fruity. Sweet. A bit tangy. Tart. You're mostly getting strawberry on the front end of your taste buds. And you're getting watermelon in the back end. But right in the middle, in the middle of your tongue, you taste both at the same time in perfect harmony. This is perfectly balanced. Just tart enough, just sweet enough, just fruity, floral, aromatic. It's very tropical in nature. It's not even a tropical punch but it feels like I'm drinking something straight from Hawaii. That is, that is a solid flavor. Yeah, that, I mean, it's hitting all the notes. I'm not really, the only thing that bothers me about this flavor is the smell of the powder. But other than that, it, it hits a home run. Um, I'd say I'd give this a 9.5 out of 10. It's pretty darn close to um, a perfect 10 out of 10. The only thing that keeps it from hitting 10 is the powder smell. I feel that that's important because um, if the powder smell throws you off then you become a bit concerned of the actual smell and flavor when it's in drink form uh, if it didn't do that I would have given this a 10 but I'm gonna be fair and give it a 9.5 fantastic flavor I definitely will consider buying a tub of this in the near future um, but so far that's really about it for this review um, I'm not really partnered with Sneak as of the recording of this video, so uh, I'll just put up a link on the description down below of their website. Um, I'll link both the US and the UK site. Um, that way you guys can choose to order up a starter pack or if you're a returning customer to Sneak, you can buy, by all means just get an easy link right there. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, this has been Alucard. Until the next video, peace.